Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite color combinations when I use gels in my studio light. Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and I love color. And in particular, I love color gel photography. In fact, I use it all the time. I use gels as rim lights, as background lights, as fill lights, just a kiss of color to the shadows, as main lights. Like, I love creating mood and ambiance and eye-catching imagery using color gels. And so, as you know, there are endless possibilities of color combinations. And, and frequently what I do is I look to a color wheel for inspiration because I want to know what colors work best together. I want to employ my knowledge of color harmonies. And so today I want to share with you one of my favorite color combinations that really allows the color to just pop from the page. So one of the color combinations that gets me really excited is a complementary color combo of blue, violet, and yellow, orange. In other words, combining blue and yellow, because what that does is it creates a ton of contrast and it gives me a warm, cold mix. And so there's so many different ways to do this. I can use yellow on the background and blue on my subject, blue on my subject with yellow rim lights. I, I love to play around with this and I have done so many times before. So today I want to invite you behind the scenes as I create an image that is elegant, super saturated and using these two favorite colors. All right, before we get into the lighting and the setup that I have going on here, I wanna remind you that I have a class called The Magic of Gels. And in this class, I have several hours of tutorials about how to use gels, uh, different modifier choices, color combinations, how to make them really, really saturated. And there is a companion guide that goes through exactly what you need to recreate a wide range of different gel setups, including the exact setup you see here the exact color combination, the modifiers, and I tell you the distance of light, powers of light, uh, the position of light, all of that and more. So if you want to learn more about gels, check that out. But for now, let's actually take a look at what I'm working with here. All right, so my main light that I'm starting off with is a Pro Photo D2 using a beauty dish with a grid. A beauty dish grid, it gives me a beautiful quality of light on the face, and then that grid controls the spill of that light. But of course, we're talking about gel photography. So in this case, my main light has a blue gel. And I love what blue gel does to the face. It makes the skin look liquidy. It makes it look cool, metallic. And this is particularly beautiful on a darker skin tone, especially when I add a little bit of highlighter to the skin or make the skin look a little bit glossy. It pushes it even more in that metallic zone. So I've got my beauty dish with a grid uh, and the blue gel mostly centered on my subject, maybe a little bit to the left-hand side of the frame. Then I need to add my yellow gels into the scene. Now I have other YouTube tutorials where I actually add the yellow gel to the background or I light a yellow background. But in this case, we're going to use our yellow gels as rim lights. And so this is actually a three light setup. My next two strobes are one light on either side of my subject using one by four foot strip soft boxes. And this is what gives me beautiful, glowing, even highlights around the model's jawline, around the side of her body. But of course, the next part is adding the gels. So for these two rim lights, I have added yellow gels. In fact, these are a little bit more yellow straw, so they're a little bit yellow orange, which of course is my blue violet, yellow orange gel combination. Now you'll notice that on those two strip soft boxes, I am using grids. Why am I using grids? I really precisely place those strip soft boxes to create just perfect little rim lights on my subject. And without the grids, the light flares back at camera and tends to give me a little bit of lens flare. By adding the grid, it controls the spill of the light. It reduces the lens flare. And if you still are having problems with lens flare, be sure to add a lens hood to your lens. It'll actually block out some of that extra haze. I'm going to bring my model out in just a second so we can see what this looks like. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about my setup. I'm going to be using the Canon EOS R5 and my favorite pairing with this camera is the Canon RF 24 to 105 because it gives me such versatility. Now I'm thinking that the way that I've styled my subject that maybe I'll probably crop mid length, maybe get some close up shots and this focal length range gives me the ability to do so. Uh, furthermore, I am shooting tethered 
into my computer. Now the reason I do this is because I can see what the gels really look like. I can tweak the saturation, the white balance, and so I can make sure I'm capturing what I need to get that really super saturated end impact. So with that, can I bring you out and set? All right, so let's begin with the beauty dish and the grid. I'll pop that on first. Right there is perfect. Great. Now you see what I'm talking about with that liquid metallic appearance to the skin? I love what that looks like. And we've just taken a piece of fabric and sculpted it around her to create something that has a lot of structure. And it's blue, which is a perfect match for the gel combination here. All right, now obviously this is a very monochromatic look right now and she blends in with the background. So now she is going to just pop off the background with those two yellow strip soft boxes. One. Okay. Great. I think this combination draws a lot of attention to the beautiful sides of her cheekbones when I turn her to the side, to her profile but I'm really getting a superhero vibe. Like that's what this color combination gives me. And you know why it gives me that feel? Well, a lot of movie posters and a lot of superhero movies use this color combination. And so now with that in mind, it's about getting the right pose and just the precise angle of her head so that I'm flattering my subject and making sure the light falls exactly where I want it to be. All right, so let's get the shot. Okay, that's gorgeous. is pure superhero and it's elegant and it's strong and it's colorful and it's eye-catching which is exactly what I love in my style. It's a type of imagery that I always gravitate towards. So if you want to learn more about gel photography make sure you check out my class The Magic of Gels but if you want to see the gear used in the making of this image be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com and of course if you enjoy this content you want to learn more about gels and studio lighting and all of that well you're going to want to like, comment, and of course, subscribe because I have so many more videos just like this one coming your way. See you next time, guys.